good news everyone I just I can't express my joy for this one can't express it enough because it has been 365 days one year since my last nasty brain fart which is pretty stinking great because <sighs> I have expressed many times that they suck they're terrible they're awful and I just mad respect to people who have grand mal seizures people who just could seriously harm themselves sometimes in extreme cases others because of their seizures like mad respect to you guys who deal with that I mean those those of you like me where it's just you feel funky and then you're out I feel you there it's not fun but yeah a year without that and it's assuring to know that hey now that I made it this far it's apparent that the surgery has been working which is nice because I don't want to regress to that. I do not want to regress to that. No. Well, especially the last seizure. That one really stank. Like, literally. Literally. It was gross. Horrid. If you've been watching my channel up until this point, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's not as horrid as you think, but it was not pleasant. It was gross. I mean, and I've been put in some pretty stressful situations lately. So, I mean, I feel like... I feel like if something weren't working right, I, I would be seizing by now. But I haven't been, so that's nice. Uh next order of business I need to be practicing because I have a little over a month yeah uh -huh. a little over a month until school starts and I'm supposed to have my own recital well, obviously with an accompanist there is no excuse for me to sound like do by the time I get back. Considering by the time I get back, I would have had my music for a year and a half. There's just, there's no excuse for it. None. And I mean, I've talked to some of my friends about it. They said, you're being too harsh on yourself. You ha you've had a brain surgery and it's like, yeah, brain surgery, not a freaking lip surgery. I'm fine. There's no excuse. No. Sure, yeah, this is numb for a while. It still is a little, but it's fine. But even then, it's like, there's no excuse. No. <sighs> And, like, this is my life. I should, I should be ecstatic to do this. Like, shoot, I should just whip it out now and do some show and tell. I don't have to warm up. I don't want to do that. But, I mean, I have been doing other things, like, I, I sing for mass. Which is nice, I love doing that. Except the last go-around was bad. We don't have to talk about that. Um, yeah, that was rough. So I'm singing tomorrow, which hopefully will be a thousand times better. 
because the uh, organist asked me um, last time, she said, how, how are you doing after that? I said, I kind of want a facial reconstruction, you know, so no one recognizes me. <laughs> Told Josh that, he didn't think it was very funny. It's like, lighten up. <laughs> Told me my jokes are bad and I'm like, my whole Tinder profile was a joke, yet here we are. <laughs> like, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Uh, yeah, I need to, there's so much I need to be doing with music. Cause I look at stuff every now and then, I'm like, what? what? Oh, jeez, I can't read that. We have some stuff to iron out here. Because if I'm struggling with these, base, these basic rhythms, we, we've got some issues here. Like, and I have resources to practice. I just don't use them because I'm a lazy sack of crap. <sighs> and that's just, that's not acceptable. <laughs> Well, I'm getting a haircut next week, just the trim, because it just feels mangy and gross. Um, and somebody wants me to grow it out, and I'm just like, fine, I'll humor you. But I'm here to tell you, I'm donating it after it's long enough. It's gone. Because I've, I've had it to about my mid-back before, about past my shoulders. Yeah, about my mid-back. Anyone with long hair knows what it's like to lean back on the chair and your hair gets caught in the way and it jerks. That's not fun. Anyone with long hair knows what it's like to have to start from the bottom and then brush your way up. Anyone with long hair knows what it's like when mom chases you with the brush because your hair is a ratted mess. Anyone with long hair knows what it's like to walk out in the winter with wet hair and then it just freezes. Anyone with long hair knows what it's like to sleep on long wet hair. Anyone with long hair knows what it's like to accidentally get your hair caught in the door. Your car door accidentally slant. Yeah, it's awful. Like, this is just... No. Although, like, when it is too short, it's a nuisance there, too. So. Like, being able to do that with it, I don't like it. Not only that, it just, it feels mangy. I don't like it. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get recommended products. I'm low maintenance. I'm not gonna get them. I'm cheap for one. Two, I don't wanna be making a hair care routine. I'm cheap, I'm lazy. Frick, I don't even have a skin routine, which is why I look like crap. I've definitely got the mask knee. It's okay, it hides my ugly, I don't care. <laughs> even though it perpetuates the ugly, it still hides it. <laughs> whatever sorry I'm rambling anyway yeah one year since my last seizure yippee ki -yay. how neat that's pretty neat got that going for me which is nice yeah yeah I'm done all right have a good one